Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Pyramid in Bosnia. This finding is so fantastic that the official science flatly refuses to recognize it. Because, having agreed that in the center of Europe there are ancient pyramids, similar to the Egyptian pyramids, we have to come to the conclusion that the history of our world was not at all the same as written in history textbooks. Under the 1.5 meter layer of earth on which grows trees and shrubs, there are huge stone blocks, tightly docked one to another. Moreover, excavations were carried out at different points of the mountain, and everywhere under the soil layer, there was a stone base. In addition, an aerial photograph showed that the sides of the mountain are perfectly straight, and form angles of 90 degrees. Bridges then and bridges now. And this is not the worst bridge yet. It is scary to live in a regressive world where you are assured that progress is being made. It's scary to live with people who don't understand that. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, three ingredients are needed to make gunpowder, saltpeter, sulfur, and coal. There has always been coal in China. Until the 18th century, native sulfur was only available at the mouth of the volcano Etna, in Sicily. The nearest deposit of saltpeter was on the island of Ceylon. Of the entire Mendeleev table, only saltpeter and sulfur can be components of black powder, all other fast-acting substances are explosive, and any cannon would be blown to pieces if used. How could China invent gunpowder with only one of three components? Mount Karnaserta in the polar region boasts basalt slabs with perfectly even faces. The blocks stand out against the rest of the stone scrap, and their processing allows you to take them as they are, and use them for construction. Do you think these are traces of ancient civilizations? Scientists think it's a natural formation. Take a look at the painting called The Suicide of Saul, which was painted in 1562. So people knew about dinosaurs back in the 16th century. If you look closely, you will see three dinosaurs in the center of the painting, with riders sitting on them. Many people would think they were camels, but they weren't. This is a relief in the Khmer Temple of Top Rome, near Angkor. The temple has a rich history, it is 800 years old, was abandoned in the 15th century, rediscovered by Europeans in the mid-19th, and when it was finally brought to the tourist decent look, washed and scrubbed 20 years ago. The result was not only a cultural, but also historical sensation. On the wall, was a small stone bas relief with the image of Stegosaurus. The ancient legends of many nations mention dragons. If you go into detail, these mythical creatures are very similar to dinosaurs. 
In other words, dragon is the folkloric name for a dinosaur. How could these ancient animals get into myths and legends, if, according to the generally accepted scientific theory, dinosaurs became extinct tens of millions of years before the appearance of man? The opening of a Chinese tomb in Taiyuan City has given people a find in the form of a gold sarcophagus from the Tang Dynasty. The official position of scientists is that the gold coffin has not been opened until now, because scientists fear that the contents will react with the air, oxidize, and turn to ashes. Sounds reasonable, in contrast to the second part of the description of the precious sarcophagus, a red silk bow is still wrapped around the coffin. So the metal sarcophagus has oxidized over 12 to 15 centuries in the ground, but the silk ribbon has not. Silk is known for its durability, unlike metals. The Padam Crater was long thought to be the result of the Tunguska explosion. When scientists studied the trees growing on its slope, it turned out that they appeared before the meteorite impact, but, instead, they witnessed a nuclear explosion. Judging by the annual rings of trees, in 1845 in the crater area, there was a five-fold increase in the radioactive isotope in the wood, which lasted for several decades. The same pattern is observed in the nuclear test area. The reasons for the increased background radiation at a time when nuclear research was out of the question are still not clear. Is it true that we now live much longer than our ancestors did? The inscription on the monument reads, Joe Kepler, Years of Life 1630 to 1930, The City of Bad Wildbad, Germany. What do you think of it? While drilling a well in the American state of Idaho, a stone human figure was found. However, the strange thing is that it was found in a formation at a depth of about 100 meters, which, according to archaeological logic, refers to a time when man was not yet in this part of the world. Another clarification, a bonus, the figure is not considered a fake, but also has not been investigated, all that is said about it, that such a find is impossible in principle. Found in the wrong place, and in the wrong place. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.